growing up uh, when I was younger, I had a, a 71 Nova, wound up uh, selling the car, and um, then ever since then, I've, I've kind of always wanted to get back into having the car. The opportunity came up, and I think my wife just uh, made a decision that life was too short. I was in uh, Iraq back in 2009. While I was gone, she came across it and uh, bought it as a, a gift for me. When I got home, she had it parked in the garage, leaking uh, transmission fluid and oil on the floor, and basically was in a uh, sad state. I was excited to hear about it and have it in the shop. Uh, Bruce had had it uh, acid dipped when we first saw it, so it came to us in pretty much a hole, and we took it from there and did all the bodywork and paint, and assembly and fabrication and everything to get it to what it is now. I wanted it unique and showy, but not so much that it's so much different from what an originally stock car was. It was built with a driving it in mind really and, it, and looking good and uh, it's a little 383 small block in there and it's just a nice driver and got plenty of power to go if you want to go. It has a uh, height front subframe which uh, was going to make it into a uh, four disc brake car. It's got a TCI transmission 700 R4 in it so we could have overdrive so we have low end power and still get on the highway and cruise you know at 70 miles an hour to low RPM. And of course the 383 small block engine's got dark Pro One aluminum heads on it. It's got comp roller uh, cam and lifters, uh, magnum rockers, all comp push rods, everything in that package just to get the kind of performance and everything that we wanted to get out of this car and the style that we ended up with. The quality of what we choose makes the end result of how good the car is. You know, the comp staff has the uh, ability to guide us in the right direction as far as uh, the right cam selection to get the right horsepower at the right RPM. And the transmission gear, and you know, even with the overdrive transmission, there's some different choices in that. And the torque converter, which was built by them too, uh, to make all that stuff work together. To so be sure you get the power from one end of the car to the other. My wife initially, you know, the, the two things she wanted as far as having an automatic and, and air conditioning, anything else she really didn't care about. Well, at one point I said, I said, I think I'm going to paint it green. Ronnie and his brother and the guys that work in his shop gave me all kinds of heck about it. Talked with my wife and I said, uh, Ronnie doesn't like the color. And she said, so? Yeah, she not said, my car. She said, it's not Ronnie's car. We went with the green and uh, Ronnie did, after they, after they painted it, he called me up and he said I was wrong. He said, the color's, the color's right. For me, it's hard because uh, you get emotionally attached to these cars. You know, you build them from the beginning on up and you get in your mind how you would like to have it for yourself because you basically get so involved you feel like you're building it for yourself, not necessarily the customer. Luckily, Bruce stood up for his color and <laughs> is on it and it looks great. It's, it's being driven um, and that's, that was my intent. I didn't want it to just sit on the trailer and sit in the garage. I mean, it's, um, it's to be driven.